I can't be bothered to hand wash. I throw everything into my machine and wash on hot. Including this lovely chenille throw. Will it survive? Let's find out. This is Liz from Comfort Sleep Sanctuary. As a bonus, I figure out a few strategies you can use to keep the fringe from knotting when you machine wash. For more information, you can always check the links in the description below or check our website, comfortsleepsanctuary.com. Chenille is the French word for caterpillar because the yarn resembles a fuzzy furry caterpillar. Chenille is made of a core of two strands that are twisted together and within this core are lots of tiny little short pieces called pile. The threads of the pile stick out in different directions and reflect the light differently and that's what gives chenille its typical iridescent shine. Chenille can be made of any type of fiber including cotton or viscous rayon which is bamboo. Most commonly you'll probably find it made of simple polyester. Polyester itself is very washable. Well, what about chenille polyester? Why machine wash in hot? Well, if you have allergies, like I do, experts recommend that you wash everything in very hot water around 130 degrees Fahrenheit. That's around 55 degrees Celsius. This high temperature is required to kill all the bugs and the allergens that those bugs create. And by bugs, I mean dust mites, bacteria, fungi, you name it. As a safety reminder, if this hot water is coming from your tap, you are in danger of scalding yourself. So be very careful, especially if you have little ones at home. Another your washing concern is the fringe. Will it survive? The internet, bless its heart, has a few suggestions. One is to place your chenille in a pillowcase. This will protect it from snagging on other things like zippers. For my first washing experiment, I washed in conventional detergent plus hot water. I included a few other things like towels and dried it on a low heat setting in the dryer. Because this is 100% polyester, it dries very quickly. You need little to no time in the dryer. In fact, you could probably just dry this flat if you wished. Fortunately, I didn't realize you're supposed to tie the pillowcase closed. And indeed, the throw came out sometime during the wash. In hindsight, this was probably a good thing. So what are the results? Good news. Despite being a very bright color, this color didn't run on the other items in my laundry. Also, there was minimal chenille lint, both in the washer and the dryer. A little bit, but no more than you'd expect from a newly laundered item, which is good. So this pile isn't going to come apart, uh, at least not immediately. Other good news, the fringe on one side was completely fine. The other side was a different story. This is what it looked like. <laughs> Remember you saw me rolling up the throw before I put it in the pillowcase? Perhaps that was part of the problem. Unless you have zippers or other snag wrists in the laundry, the use of a pillowcase, or more typically, a mesh laundry bag, is probably a bad idea. You're forcing the fringe to hang out with itself and then it's more likely to not. FYI, laundering may be the least of your issues. And this is why pet owners can't have nice things. What to do about the fringe? Number one, simply cut it off. Or number two, sit in front of the TV curled up in your cozy throw and binge watch your favorite show for several hours. And while you do that, work on the knots. Patience is key. In fact, it may take several sessions of binge watching in order to free all the knots. And slowly and patiently work the knots out. 
just as you would with tangled hair, start at the outside and work in. If there is a free thread, you might be able to work it out individually. Again, go slow. Patience is key. The good news is a lot of this can be done by feel, so you won't miss a moment of your favorite TV show. It took me about eh, four evenings of binge watching to fix one side of my fro. Unfortunately, a lot of the delicate pile didn't survive. Wash experiment number two. The internet suggests taking tassels and putting rubber bands around them in order to keep them from knotting. As we've seen, chenille fringe is a bit delicate, so I didn't want to put rubber bands directly on the fringe. Instead, I modified the technique. I wrapped the fringe in cloth, then scrunched it up and rubber banded it. Did this in sections in order to cover the entire side of the throw. Here I'm using reusable, in other words, washable, paper towels made of bamboo, but you can use any kind of thin cloth that is available. In fact, you might want to take that worthless pillowcase and cut it up into squares. Now the key is, I only did this to one side. I left the other side completely free. And again, repeated my wash in hot water with detergent with a few other items like towels. A bit of the fringe escaped its wrapping and became very tangled. I suspect that fringe that has knotted in the past and has therefore lost some of its pile is actually more susceptible to further knotting. I kept the wrapping on in the dryer. It should be noted that wrapping did take a little bit of the pile. So again, it's a little bit rough on the fringe. Results were mixed. There was still some knotting on the fringe that was wrapped, but it was a lot better. It was really only at the tips. So much easier to undo. But what about the other side of the throw? Remember, I completely ignored that side and just threw it in with everything else. Turns out it did just fine. In fact, looks the best. I have a new hypothesis. Keeping your laundry load full with a lot of other items, such as towels or bedding, that will keep the fringe dispersed. And if it keeps dispersed, it can't knot on itself. And certainly don't stuff it into a pillowcase or a mesh washing bag. Goes without saying that your full load shouldn't include snag hazards, such as clothing with zippers. There is still a risk that even if you wash it in a full load, there will be knotting, but you know what to do. Have you tried to wash things with fringe? What's your experience been like? If you'd like to learn more, please check the links in the description below. And as always, like, subscribe, and ring that bell. Good night. Oh, look at you.